Being cloud native uh, means uh, having designed, engineered uh, a network function, a service, a product to be run on the cloud from day one. When people talk about cloud native, what they're really talking about is, is the services and capabilities of the network that typically sits out at some hardware platform somewhere in the network yeah. now becomes native to the cloud. It just, all those capabilities sit there. Cloud native is, is, is all about how you can make use of the resources, both hardware and software, that are provided by the cloud infrastructure. In, from NFE point of view that is provided by the NFVI infrastructure. What it means at, at its heart is software that was designed and built to run in the cloud as its, as its home, as its native environment. Right. Uh, as distinct from software that started out life uh, either on a, on a physical appliance, you know, piece of proprietary hardware or maybe just running, running bare metal on x86. Cloud native basically means things that happen in the cloud and remain in the cloud. And uh, the problem is that for, for CSPs, unless a CSP can bring all of its operations into the, cl into the cloud, mm. CSPs do not live in the cloud. We live in reality and we live in a geographically dispersed reality. Cloud native applications are, are great as long, uh, as, long as your consumption and production remains in the cloud. You have a number of vendors that have created products and solutions that have been designed for a cloud environment where the control state um, and uh, the data states are separate, where um, they don't necessarily take an evolved packet core product as a monolithic engine, but as a suite of microservices components that can be scaled independently and placed independently. Why is it important to, to, to network operators? Because this kind of software is far easier to deploy, makes more efficient use of hardware resources, um, it's more resilient in the face of, of, of various different kinds of failures. Um, I mean, essentially, if, if, if designed right and distributed across multiple locations, then no single fault of any kind at any layer in the stack, including the loss of the entire data center, will stop the service from, from, from running. It's applications that drive business. That's what uh, enterprises and consumers, the customers of the CSPs, really want. They just want applications, they want to get to them. More and more of them live in the cloud. So I, I mean, I really think that telcos should very seriously consider engaging with, with, with public cloud operators. I mean, at, at the moment there tends to be a, no way we could never possibly do that. Sometimes you get the attitude, look, we, we build and operate networks, that's what we do for a living, right? So why would we rely on somebody else to do that, to do that for us? Well, the answer might be because actually they might be better at that aspect of building the network. But if you're going to start building telco clouds to provide these and to run your operation off it, you need to have the features of cloud native. You need to have containers. You need to have scale out. You need to have N plus K um, redundancy. You need to have geographical diversity. You need to understand microservices. These are things that are not really in the uh, vocabulary very much of the CSPs. This is a big enough opportunity for the public cloud operators to be prepared to create something specially for the telcos, you know, a telco platform as a service. Um, and, and so that's the sort of conversation I think um, you know, we'd like to see happen and, and you know, we'd like to see ourselves being in the middle of it, of course. So it really has to do with the transformation of the telco industry, the telecom industry, from one of transmission to really one of computing.